Yeah. Okay, let's do this. Neutrality in the face of evil. Welcome to Seriously Lighthearted Yoga. We got our fourth lock and key coming at Number you right four. Yeah. now. So, today, guys, we're talking about kind of the idea of equanimity in the face of wickedness. Uh, that sounded odd. But this... I it's the face of You're wickedness. You're really good at that. <laughs> <laughs> but, guys, this is... Again, the idea that you're not going to allow somebody else's kind of state of being to really affect yours all that much. You are the controller of yours. So when you see somebody who is actively trying to bring you down, who is doing something evil, recognize that you don't have to let that happen. That you always have the choice in your response. And in this case, if you practice, again, the equanimity that we talked about, you don't get brought down. You don't become the evil person that is trying to make you that way. So, neutrality in the face of evil as a way of not really exacerbating it. Trying to keep it, again, uh, from going down into the trough or up into the peak, as you like to think about it. Remembering not to kind of attach to the cycle and to stay equanim... Equ okay, I'm not going to... Equanim... Oh my god. <laughs> Some words are hard. But anyway, you guys. <laughs> you get it. You're trying to remain <laughs> even keeled, even in the face of uh, adversity. Yeah. Is, is really kind of the goal here. So don't let it tear you down. And also don't become, allow yourself to not become the evil to combat another evil. It's, yeah, don't do that. Yeah. Don't stoop. Yeah, don't, don't they stoop. They go low, you go high. <laughs> <laughs> All comes out to be right in the middle. Yep. We'll see you guys tomorrow.